All right, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, as always, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashom, Yahweh Shai, Bashom, Rachaha, Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. And uh, this sit down lesson is gonna be a response to unrighteous decrees that is in the making that they are talking about passing using the anti-SIM card. Okay, you should know what I'm talking about by now. Okay, they're, they're passing laws to basically ban particular talking points in the Bible. You know, because it's, it's not really the whole Bible that is offensive to Esau, it's particular talking points that are offensive to Esau, such as Genesis, the 25th chapter, Genesis the 27th chapter okay <laughs> where where it basically goes into detail of 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 what these so-called white people's forefather Esau looks like going into his description you know going into um how he lost the birthright and the blessing to Jacob and um, at the end of the day, these Edomites are hurt, okay? They're hurt because we are the true chosen people of the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shah. Even before heaven and earth was created, we were already destined to be the Lord's chosen people. And Esau cannot accept and when i say esau i'm speaking of today's edomites the ones who know the truth who call themselves the illuminati the heads of the illuminati which will be the so-called elites who call themselves rothschilds and rockefellers okay hiding from their true biblical nationality which is the fact that they are edomites by calling themselves the true jew you know the 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 uh, true jew news and you know saying that they're 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 ish and all this other shit but, but in reality, they're just hiding from their nationality. And the, the Bible even tells you that prophetically speaking, these Edomites would, would, would basically call themselves by everything under the sun except what they are in the Bible, which is the fact that they are Edomites. So because the Bible is exposing them, How you doing? Okay, because the, the, the Bible is ex exposing them on their nationality and, and what their line really goes back to and the fact that they lost the birthright and, and you know, the Bible also explaining and basically foretelling what the future of these Edomites are, you know, they're, they're scared of as what, what, what is to come. The Bible speaks about the Edomites going into slavery. Okay. It speaks about, you know, after, after, after they served a thousand years of slavery in the kingdom, they're going to pretty much be exterminated, you know, and, and basically these Edomites, they, they, they hate what is going to befall them in the future. They don't like the outcome of, of what, what's, what's going to happen to them in the future. And pretty much they're trying to upset prophecy, which is why they're continually sending space junk into space. You know, they're trying to blow up the moon and trying to block out the sun. They're trying to measure outer space. And, you know, like it says in Jeremiah, the 31st chapter, if they succeed in doing those things, then the Lord will cut us off being an issue of people. 
But you see, we know that the word of the Lord never goes out void. OK, it never goes out void. Isaiah 55 and 11. OK, also Numbers 23 verse 19. OK, Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken and shall he not make it good? So when we read scriptures like Isaiah 14 verse 1, the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel. When we read scriptures like Jeremiah the 31st chapter, the 32nd and 33rd chapters where the Lord said that that um the, the Lord will, will put his laws in our in our minds and, and all of Israel shall know him from least unto the greatest. We know that the Lord is not going to just go back on his word. OK, so and, and the, these Edomites know that, you know. Malachi three and six, the Lord don't change. OK, so, you know, again, these Edomites are hurt. The Bible has uh, pro prophetically speaking. You know, when, when the Bible speaks to the future of these Edomites, which are these so-called white people, nothing good is coming for them or their entire nation. OK. They going back to the base form of what they were in, you know, before they rose up in the power, you know, they're going to be despised, looked down upon in the kingdom. And they're going to be catching so much hell in, in the kingdom of heaven that, you know, they, they are going to be begging for some kind of relief, you know. And you see, one thing about the heavenly father is that he requires blood, you know. And um, who shed the blood of the nation of Israel? Well, it start it starts with the Edomites. OK, uh, numbers, the uh, 35th chapter and the 33rd verse. Uh, uh, so ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are for blood. It defiled the land and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So like it like it, it it mentions in the book of Ecclesiastes, I believe it's the third chapter. The Lord requires that which is past. OK. OK, well, what did the Lord say concerning the Israelites, which are the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Indians? We are the Lord's. We are the apple of the Lord's eye. So so when these devils took it upon themselves to gather us from Europe, you know, from Germany, from the western parts of Africa and basically put us in slavery. You know, he he basically touched the apple of the Lord's eye. So so what what, what do you think the Lord is going to do to these Edomites? He's going he uh, uh, uh what is that Ezekiel the 25th chapter the Lord said that he will lay his vengeance upon Edom by the hand of his people Israel. So you see these devils now now you know because um the word of the Lord is driving them crazy to the brink of insanity. You know, now they, they figure that um, if they can ban the teaching of the Bible, then, um, <laughs> you know, they can pretty much prevent prophecy from happening. But, you know, the you know, the, the scriptures, there's a reason why Job called them children of fools children of base men because um just because it becomes illegal for us to teach out of the scriptures and to do videos on it that's not going to stop prophecy from happening okay was we preaching out of the bible before we went into captivity no but guess what we still went into captivity presuming to deuteronomy the 28th chapter OK, Hosea, the fourth chapter, therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. OK, Zeke, uh, Isaiah, the first chapter. You know. Uh, Jeremiah 17 and I believe uh, five. It was already prophesied for us to go into captivity. So, yeah, guess what? We 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 was not prophesying out of the Bible during the dark ages and we still went into captivity. Because it was prophesied. So what, what do you think I'm saying? We're telling you what's going to happen before it happens. And that's according to the word of Yahweh, which can be found in the Holy Scriptures. 
So I'm telling you right now, as soon as you devils make the Bible illegal to read out of, you 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 would have fulfilled the book of Amos, the prophecy spoken of in Amos, the eighth chapter, the prophecy spoken of in uh, Ezekiel three and twenty six. <laughs> OK, no matter what move, what, what, no matter what move you make, the Lord already has you checkmated. So as you see right here in Daniel's eight, verse twenty four. OK, and his power shall be mighty. Right. Well, you know what? Let's start at verse twenty three. And in the latter time of their kingdom. OK, now we know that when we hear about the latter time, OK, the first thing that comes to mind is Esau's the end of the world. Right. And there's many ways you can phrase latter time, you know, the end of the world, the end of an age, you know, um, aeon, you know, um, the kingdom being translated from one people to another. I believe that's the book of Sirach. The um, is that the Sirach the tenth chapter? Okay, you know the uh, um the 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 cup, you know being taken away, the cup of trembling being taken away from Jacob and being handed to Esau. So, you know, in the latter time, Esau's the end of the world. Second Ezra the sixth chapter, in the latter time of their kingdom. When the transgressors are come to to the full, right? Because in um, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the 68th verse, the Lord said that he was going to bring us into Egypt again with ships. OK. And America ended up becoming the new Egypt. All you have to do is look on the back of your dollar bill. And what do you see? You see a, a, a pyramid. OK. You see a pyramid and the, the, the pyramid is synonymous with what? Uh, uh, the the Israelites building building up those pyramids when they was in hardcore bondage in, in ancient Egypt. So in a sense, we were the ones who built up this kingdom. And Esau basically established it off of our blood, sweat and tears. And not once was we ever, you know, uh, um, paid reparations for our hard work. You know, okay, and uh, you know when 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 we try to have a settlement established for our nation, namely Tulsa, Oklahoma, what happened? The Edomites got jealous. They got angry, mad. You know, they they, they was pretty much farting all over the place. You know, face turning red, and ultimately they ended up bombing Tulsa, Oklahoma. Black Wall Street. That was originally our idea. Okay? Wasn't we not calling ourselves black? Back in the 1900s, colored negro, which is uh, negro is just Spanish for black. Okay? Nigger comes from the Latin word niger, which is just another word for black. You see, but you see these Edomites they never really wanted us to to you know have a prosperous time in his kingdom and, and if our people do prosper it's because they had to do something wicked they had to defile themselves which which really further separates them our people from their power because the scriptures tell you that that the lord is far from 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 those that commit iniquity that commit sin you know Jake just out there sinning willfully, eating feces, drinking cum, committing pedophilia, you know, moism, being a transformer, wearing a dress, being all effeminate, you see? And this is what Esau loves. Because the Lord is not near somebody who, who's like that. You know, you got niggas eating pork and, and unclean foods and committing adultery and getting tattoos all over their bodies, on their face, their neck, you see? So that's why, you know, Isaiah in the book of Isaiah, the first chapter, he he gave praises and thanks to the Lord that he had reserved unto himself a remnant. OK, what did the Lord tell uh, uh, um, um, Elijah in, in um, the, the book of of first Kings? OK, he said that he had reserved unto himself or I, I 
I believe that's the book of First Kings. No, the Lord said that he or that that could be the book of Second Kings, excuse me, where the Lord said that he had reserved unto himself 7,000 men which have not bowed the knee <laughs> to Baal. OK, so. You know, thank Yahweh Bashom, Yahweh Shai for for a remnant, because if it was not for the remnant, man, we'll, we'll be through out here, you know, without a hope in the world. So um, it says in, in the latter time, um, Daniel 8, verse 23, in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, right? And, and we are those transgressors, a king of fierce countenance, which, you know, that could be Donald Trump, which, which really Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Obama, OK, Bill Clinton, uh, 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 George W. Bush. George W. Bush uh, Jr., John F. Kennedy, you know, George Washington, you know, Abraham Lincoln. They were all puppets that was really set up by the so-called elites, which this is not the first time that they, they done it. Showing you that it's the same spirits coming back in the reincarnation because that that's what that's what Ptolemy did. OK. OK, there was um. I forgot I, one of one of the one of the 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 Ptolemaic rulers was a child, and basically he was being controlled by a a, a higher by, by 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 an adult that was basically pulling his strings from from behind the scenes. So you know Esau likes to set up puppets to basically carry out his orders, legislations, bills. You see. So, an understanding dark sentences shall stand up, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and holy people. And ultimately, this is what Esau has done to our nation. You know, during the time of slavery, our na nationality was beaten out of us. We were forced to call ourselves by, by uh, you know, slave names. Okay. You know, and ultimately we were just separated from our power and our heritage. Like it tells you in Jeremiah the seventeenth chapter, and thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. Now, I believe that's Jeremiah 17. Is that 17 and 5 or is that 17? I, mean, I can always check later, but you pretty much get the point. Okay, so, uh, you know, he destroyed us as a nation of people. But here it is, you know. A great awakening which started ultimately when YouTube came on the scene, you know, you know, uh, um, you know, there's many, many members of the elect who have repented, you know, left off from their iniquities and ultimately came back to the Lord, you know, and great fear fell upon these devils, upon these Edomites, namely the so-called elites who call themselves Rothschilds and Rockefellers, you know, great fear fell upon them. Because the elect standing up on their feet, proclaiming the iniquity and the wickedness which which the Edomites have done to our nation, you know, prophesying, you know, professing the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know, teaching that America is Babylon and, and what Babylon's future is, you know, great fear fell on these these devils, you know. And now that they 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 see the elect waking up all around the world, you know, now they want to uh Make it illegal to teach the Bible. Okay. Verse 25. And through his policy also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. Now, this happened during the time of Antiochus Epiphanes. Okay. Now, when you observe Antiochus Epiphanes' behavior toward the Israelites, you know, he basically... 
he basically made it illegal for Israelites to keep their customs. That's why women were being put to death that were circumcising their children on the eighth day. The infants were, were hanged about their necks. Okay. They had Israelites sacrificing swine in the altar. You know. And I believe in 2nd Maccabees, you know, it basically it was not it was it was it was unlawful for an Israelite to profess himself to be Yasha Allah. So, you know, you already knew it. If there was an Israelite professing himself to be Yasha Allah, you know, they basically, you know, he, he was penalized for it. And basically, the, those are the same times we're living in, you know. You know, the, these devils are coming with their crafty policies and they're using the anti-SIM card to to justify their their actions. You know. You know, saying that, you know, particular talking points is, is, is offensive to the ish people and the 1948ers and blah, 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 you know. So and through his policy, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand and he shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many, you know. And that's ultimately what he's, he, you know, you know, he he wants the people the masses of the world to believe that he's making up the teachings of the Bible illegal because it's it's causing too many offenses in which the, the, the scriptures say that that um uh, offenses must come. But what did Yahweh say? Blessed is he that is not offended in him. So to show you that two, not even two thirds of our people are, are right in the head because a lot of them actually want the Bible to be banned because they see that we have the 100 percent truth. And we're basically, you know, we're, 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 we're basically bringing out the correct doctrine, teaching the scriptures the right way, which is going to offend many. But guess what? We don't give a damn if you people are offended. OK, fuck your feelings, man. Look, all hell is getting ready to break loose. And, and the great day of our Lord's return is near. And you over here getting getting mad over particular teachings and the scriptures? Get out of your fucking feelings, bro. Okay. So it says he shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. And the prince of princes is talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay. And, and Yahweh Shai is going to destroy this person. Okay. And a matter of fact, in Second Esdras, the thirteenth chapter, it tells you that Yahweh Shai neither lifted up hand nor sword nor held any instrument of war but only there came out of his mouth as it been a, a a blast of fire so yahweh shai is gonna fucking annihilate you devils okay you know so this is ezekiel right 3 verse 17 it says son of man i have made thee a watchman unto the house of israel Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And that's what we were set up to do as the watchmen and the prophets of the Lord. We were set up to warn our people that, look, repent and turn away from your sins. Because the Lord is getting ready to bring a holy hell on this on this world, you know, and you, you, you still over here smoking and committing adultery, digging up your butt, being a mo, eating unclean foods, you know. You're going to be judged all those things if you don't turn away from it. Right? So let's scroll down here to the 26th verse, right? And I will make thy mouth cleave to the roof of... I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth that thou shalt be dumb. And a person who's dumb is a person who cannot speak. Okay? And thou shalt not be to them a reprover. Which, what is a reprover? Our reprover is somebody who corrects somebody on their folly or mistakes. Okay, so to reprove is to correct. And in this case, we correct by using the Holy Scriptures, which the word of Yahweh is pure. Right. So that thou should not be to them a reprover. Right. And basically when 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 when. We're telling you not to eat pork or unclean foods. We're telling you not to commit adultery. Don't do this. Don't do that. 
That's because the Bible is telling you not to do it. <laughs> the Lord is telling you not to do it. You see? For they are a rebellious house. And rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And we know that in the book of Exodus, what? It says that um, thou, uh, uh, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Okay? So our people are going to be judged on their rebellion. Okay? And the last scripture I have, let's go to Isaiah because I have to get ready to clock in for work. Okay? Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29, uh, let's see, is it verse 5? Okay, so no, it's not. That's Isaiah 32 and 5, but I'm not looking for that. Let me see. So the Lord said that he's, and, and, and basically, how is the Lord going to make us dumb? By basically using the left-hand side to pass laws and stuff that makes it, you know, illegal to teach out of the Bible. So when when that time comes, right, the scriptures say that they 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 shall keep quiet in those days, for it is an evil time. You know, so we ain't gonna be out there teaching for 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 too much longer. You know, we we've been out there for years. <laughs> you know, telling you you niggas to get right with the Lord, and you know you want to keep doing your own thing. You know, you, you want to keep walking around with, 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 with a bald head, a missing tooth, you know, smelling like shit, getting lineups, you know, committing adultery and eating unclean foods. Oh, that this weirdo behavior. Well, you're going to be judged on it. OK. OK, so this is Isaiah 29 and 20. For the terrible one is brought to naught. The terrible one is talking about Esau, Edom. And this, and this, this, this is what they don't want to hear. <laughs> okay. They don't want to hear that, that they are going to be brought to naught. Okay. And the scorner is consumed. And all that watch for iniquity yeah. are cut off. And these, that's what these devils do, you know. They put pork in food that's clean. They mix plastic, you know, with, with, with certain meats. And then, and then they go and, and accuse us to the fathers, you know, that they allow adultery to run rampant. They allow Jake to be a mo, a transformer. And then it, they'll go and accuse us to the father. <laughs> you, you see what I mean? You know, that they, they, they allow Jake to smoke and, and, and uh, do drugs and sell drugs. And then they, they, they'll go and, and accuse the father. But, you know, again, you know, we, we hopeful members of the elect, we're not out there doing those things. We've turned from those things. We've, we've turned from those iniquities. And, and ultimately, we did it because we fear Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and we have faith in Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai for a better future. You know, so so we're not out there doing those things, but the two thirds of our people, they're caught up in their iniquities. And, and like Yahweh Shai said, you know, if he had not come and, and spoken unto them, they had not sinned. But now they have no cloak for their sin. Why? Because he was out there giving the warning. OK. You know, just like how we're out there giving the warning. So there ain't no more excuse, Jake. You know, you, you can't say you didn't know because the, the most I ain't trying to hear that. OK. So verse 21, that make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate. <laughs> you know, and that, that's ultimately what they're doing. They're trying to set a trap for us, you know, because we're out there doing the right thing, prophesying, warning our people, tell, telling the nations their future, you know. So now they're trying to come with this, 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 this snare, this trap of, you know, you know, if anybody's out there caught teaching with the Bible in their hand, that they're going to be locked up and blah, 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 blah. You see? So it says, and turn aside the just for a thing of not. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, I got to get ready to clock in. Uh, pray and hope that you few brothers and sincere 
I hope that you, you sincere brothers and you few sisters, sisters have been edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashum, Yahweh Shai. With that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.